Kinda zipping through chapters today. I was looking up at the ceiling with my arms and legs spread out. It's not that I wasn't getting hungry. I didn't live with my parents. I didn't live in the school dorm. That meant I had to cook something myself when I wanted to eat. I knew that, but I still didn't feel like getting up. It had been several days since I began this empty life. It must be tomorrow. The Watanagashi Festival, I mean. I heard the doorbell ringing. I ignored it at first, but it rung persistently. I started hearing knocking, alongside Kasai's rude voice. Shion-san, you are in the I didn't ask him to. He must have known that I hadn't eaten enough and that I'd been feeling down lately. You have not eaten food for food. No. But when Kasai put the food on the table, my stomach reacted in a very primitive way by making some noise. I was hungry, but had no appetite. I mean, I did have an appetite, but it didn't have the energy to eat. Yet, I'd feel bad wasting the food Kasai had brought. I picked up my chopsticks just to humor him. Um, I don't, I think links are kind of banned in the chat. Yeah, sadly. Um, if you could, uh, you could hop into my Discord and actually send and actually put a link there and I will check it out after the stream. I picked up my chopsticks just to humor him. The link is in the uh, page. It's further down the... It's down on the page. おりょうさんは渡永氏の打ち合わせなどでお忙しく、シオンさんの言葉では最近は頭が回らないようでしたので、クリームコロッケは好物ではありませんでしたかうん、おいしいです。ありがとう。While I nibbled on the food, Kasai read through the magazines I bought. I never talked to Kasai about something like this before. Hang on. It better still be down there anyway. I should be able to post the link here. I mean, since it's me, it should let this link go through. Yeah. Since it's me, it's going to let the link go through. Okay. Yeah, and I will take a look at it after the stream. A little bit after the stream, anyway. I have a couple things to do. But, you know. Sometime tonight. Most likely. Since I've always believed myself to superior to him psychologically, I hesitated to show my weaknesses to him. So you, Nayami, mo. お仕事にしておくのは悪いもんじゃありませんよ。カサイ、あんた全部知ってる？ミオンさんから少々力になってほしいと頼まれました。お姉か。
心配しておられましたよミオンさん Without responding, I threw the last croquette in my mouth. Bojo Satoshi Kun no Kinkyo Shiritagate in Tomoimaste Scoji Joho Atsmete Kimashtaga Yokena Osoa de Staka. Kasai is too good for this world. Yokena Osoa de Su Demo Sekako Atsmete Kita Kasai no Kao Tateru Tameni Ma Ichio Kito Kimas. God, Eco Quest 2? Oh, God. I. Ooh. Mmm. I did. <laughs> I have forgotten completely anything about Eco Quest or Eco Quest 2. My God. It has been a very long time since I've thought about those games. Hojo Tepei ga ie o deta ra shi desu. Hmm. おきのみやに実婚の関係の女性がいまして、そこへ転げ込んだようです。てっぺ誰ああ、サトシ君のおじか。家には、おばの北条たまえと北条サトシ、サトコの三人となりました。たまえは、てっぺが別の女性のところへ
it'd be best for Satoko and her aunt to be the victims. Satoshi-kun will be freed from every source of his worries all at once. Kasai, Kotoshi no Oyashiro-sama no tatari no gisei-sha wa dare ka te, mou kimatte ru no? Kimeru no wa baa-san? Nara o nee wa, ashita no gisei-sha wo mou shitte ru te koto ni naru na. Dou na no, Kasai? Nani ka kika sarete ru? シオンさん、私はその件についてはいっさい聞かされていません。まあ、そりゃそうか。火災ごときの耳に本家の最高機密が入るわけもないか。I still like his tie. そういうことです。少なくとも私の関係する界隈ではそういう話は降りてきていません。ですが、ご存知の通り。Maybe I could try asking Sis about it, but she won't talk. She's strict about keeping promises, unlike me. If the tag told if the hag told her to keep it secret, she'd take it to her grave. And don't be picking on Satoko. Kasai, I was honored. Sure you were. I took a glimpse at Kasai. It didn't look like he was actually going to do something to make my wish come true. I wasn't able to go to the village as myself, so I definitely wasn't going to the festival. I didn't care about that. Even so, I was interested in who was going to end up as a victim of the curse. If I just kept lying on this couch playing hooky, somebody would fall victim in several hours. I had no clue why it had to happen every year, but I was certain that the hag was behind it. All the enemies from the dam conflict had been punished. Only the Hojo couple was left since most of the other enemies had already gone. The cicadas were crying loudly outside. It made me feel hot. Why was it this hot and humid in June? If Oyashiro-sama was actually punishing people, I'd pray for one thing. I'd pray that the evil ant would be punished, and I'd offer up Satoko as a sacrifice. Heh. <laughs> it's hot. When I woke up, Kasei had already gone. Looks like he cleaned the table in the surrounding room. He put my dirty laundry into the hamper in front of the washing machine, too. Being a girl of a sensitive age, I didn't want a man to clean my room. Well, I'd rather thank him than badmouth him. I looked at the clock. It was late afternoon. I had to go grocery shopping. There was nothing left in the fridge, and I'd be having just rice for dinner if I didn't go. At that moment, the phone rang. That's an awfully quiet phone ring. It must be Kasai, I thought. I did hope it was him. He could have brought more food, so then I wouldn't have to go shopping. While well, I was just being lazy, I didn't feel like going out at all. But it wasn't Kasai on the phone. Oh, <laughs> だから手短に話すよ。サトシから電話が来たんだよ。サトシ君がお姉に多分私にじゃないと思う。シオンにだと思う。サトシは先日の教室での件を謝りたがってるみたいだった。See the thing is I've heard it said several times I can hear the IE. Whenever Xion says the name, I hear I hear 
the little extra inflection on the last bit. That's why that's why I've been kind of fluctuating saying it both ways. Because it just kind of sticks in my mind. Every time I hear Shion say it, it seems like I hear Kasai. It just, uh, you know. I was stunned for a second, but then recovered and wrote down the number on the back of the magazine. ありがとう。すぐに電話します。そうしてあげて。サトシは最近すごく追い詰められてるの。私の声はもう届かないみたいだけど、シオンの声ならひょっとすると届くかもしれないって。Yes, because you clearly differentiated between the difference between both of you. She could have pretended to be me and handled his call, but she passed it over to me. Before she hung up, I put the handset down. Then after a second, I dialed the number in a flash. I heard the dial tone three times, four times, and there he was. He sounded like an adult. His voice sounded a bit tired, too, but it definitely was the voice I loved. I got scared. I was scared that he might become sulky again if I mentioned my name. I couldn't open my mouth for a while. Uh, no. <laughs> That was the Satoshi-kun I knew. He didn't sound cold like the other day. <sighs> After that, he went silent. I felt the urge to start a conversation. It wasn't fair. He was the one who called in the first place. Then, he finally spoke. If this were a face to face conversation, he would be stroking my head. It was sad just talking to him over the phone. We apologized to each other a few times. Sorry, Yuri, Satoshi-kun. Are you okay? It's been a long time, but I've been working for Satoshi's birthday present. I've been working for a long time. Oh, I I can see how that might reduce some stress. So nanda. Nara mo karada o muri sasenaku to in desu ne. Honto ni yokatta.
Satoshi-kun tried to say something, but he dropped it instead. He suddenly sounded upset. I'd messed up. I was so stupid. I'd ruined this miraculous conversation with him. Satoshi-kun didn't respond to my apology. So I stopped apologizing. Wrong answer. I tried to calm him down. I hated what I said just because of how hollow it sounded. I had no idea what to say next. I felt guilty. Satoshi-kun was desperate to protect Satoko from their evil aunt. But I'd wish that Satoko would die tomorrow because of the curse. I was trampling on his desperate hope. He cut himself off in the middle and went quiet for a moment. He must have been choosing his words carefully. Then he finally spoke. His words sounded hollow. Yeah, I can see why this is the type of thing that, uh, why a very similar phrase in Chapter 3, spoken by Keiichi, would set Reina and Mion off a little bit. I can see how that works. サトコ it's not that I didn't understand why he wanted her taken to the festival. What I didn't understand is why he was asking me to do that. Was there any reason he couldn't take her there himself? I had a hunch he might disappear, so I kept asking. He fell silent. Satoshi-kun isn't good at lying or keeping secrets. It was clear that he wanted to hide something. Out of the job you quit. He was lying, but he was also stubborn. He wouldn't admit it if I accused him. <sighs> I wouldn't want to look after Satoko, even at Satoshi Kon's request. 
Excuse me. But I'm also glad that he's relying on me. I didn't know what to say. I did know, though, that I wasn't going to turn down his request. I think you're smarter than this, Xion. At least you seem smarter than this the whole time. He sounded as if he were going to disappear tomorrow. I didn't like the sound of that, so I intentionally sounded sulky. We talked about trivial stuff for just a little while. When the conversation was almost over, Satoshi-kun asked me something else. ね、ミオ。こんなことを話すと、きっと精神的に病んでるって思われるんで、本当は。ん?どうしたんですかミオは信じないよね。You never know. Oh. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why he's asking this. That's the rule. Every kid in the village knows that. Though I was kidding, I wanted him to deny it. He admitted that he had thought of it. I guess Reina told me that much. Satoshi-kun tried to say something but hesitated. He was breathing so heavily. Was he sick? And there is a cat wailing outside. Gary. Yeah. Why are you wailing out there, huh? Huh? You probably don't even know. <sighs> Cats. So you work it at Nanda. Satoshkunwa, Scoshi Gambari Sigitakara, Iroiro Scarlet in this. He sounded distinctly more sickly from when this conversation had started. He breathed heavily when punctuating his words. Satoshi-kun repeated his question. Mion, 
ミオンはお社様のたたりって存在すると思うかい What did he want me to say? Could I make him feel relieved with my answer? How should I respond? The answer was simple. <laughs> I didn't know what was bothering him, but I wanted to make him feel better by laughing his worries away. Yes, yes, you did. You made it to a Higurashi. So, hello, Dusty. But Satoshi Kun instead fell silent. <clears throat> I couldn't tell if he was happy with my answer or not. One thing was certain I didn't make him feel any better. <laughs> I felt like I left him down, so I apologized in a rush. Yeah, Shion basically signed Satoshi's death warrant here. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, buddy. He chuckled. I knew he was trying to relieve me, but it worked the opposite way. He sounded as though he didn't care what happened after he bought the teddy bear. Even though he wanted to hang up the phone because of his aunt coming back, Satoshi Kun took a breath to tell me something important. I should have said yes right away. But I still couldn't forgive Satoko. So I just kept quiet. <laughs> he was obviously disappointed. What had I done? I wanted to apologize. I wished I could. But it was too late. The dial tone left no doubt. Now that was depressing. And we have hit a chapter break. Which means we are probably not going to have time for another full chapter. Yeah, we're probably not going to have time for another full chapter in the hour we have left, considering these have been taking about an hour and a half each. Plea ignored. Let's read this. Somebody whispered to me from behind. They told me that I was going to be the victim of the curse this year. So I'm going to disappear soon. There'll be nobody left to take care of Satoko. Somebody whispered to me from behind. They told me that I don't have much time. That I won't stay as myself for much longer. So I had to make the best of the days I had left. What could I leave for Satoko? She wanted that huge teddy bear. She wanted a peaceful life in which nobody would bully her. I whispered to the person at my back, Bestow your violent nature and formidable strength upon me. I want your peaceful mind filled with hatred. Yep, that, that is an odd thing to ask somebody for. And yeah, I, could probably, I will probably be able to fit a half of one in. But we are, I don't think we're going to see the end of uh, the next chapter.
she is a twin. She is a twin, and right now she's kind of, sort of hiding from most of the Sonozaki clan. Because at the start of the story, she escaped from a boarding school that the, uh, the person she calls the hag, her grandmother, her and Mion's grandmother, sent her to to get her out of the way. So she kind of escaped from there, and now she's living in Okonomiya, kind of, sort of, hidden from her grandmother. And just to be extra sure, she's basically been kind of talking to Mion and set it up so the two of them are never have a chance of being seen at the same place at the same time. So and if anybody sees her, she can just brush it off as being Mion. And that's kind of why, that's kind of why, uh, I, I guess you didn't see it, but he, um, Satoshi was calling her Mion multiple times. So this, yeah, this is, this is, Shion is still the, uh, twin sister. So, you know, 